So any, any last words or should I check this off? I got nothing. Okay. I mean, there are certain things I'd like to see. I'd like to see less duplication. Um, I'm thinking particularly of, of you know, Quebec Or and Jessica, um, you know, uh, La Presse and Le Soleil both have TV columnists, and I mean, I can't count how many times I will read both of them and they'll write almost identical articles. Um, Quebec War is even worse because it has, the Journal de Montréal, it has 24 hours and like they literally have the same articles. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has, you know, Cedrul and, 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 and other media, again, the same articles. And it's like, well, why do you bother even having all these media if they're all going to have the same content? Why not just have like one newspaper or something? Um, yeah, I can answer that one for you. The more media, the more media outlets you have, the more advertising pages you can stick in and if you fill up stuff then, yeah, the thicker each one is, the more advertising it can support. And if you've already got it paid for once, then reusing it each and every time is incrementally more expensive as opposed to a completely new... Uh, I guess expense. so. I don't know. It just, it just seems kind of silly from, from, from my perspective to spend all this effort having different, you know, different publications all printing the same thing. And it's also I'm not I'm not a media executive. Yeah, no, it's also the sort of thing where it's uh, where well I know that there are certain times where I will read all six newspapers in town. For the most part I don't read all six and I would imagine there are people who read La Presse but don't read Le Soleil. There are people who read Le Journal oh, yeah. don't but don't read twenty four hours. And so at which point to them it's not being duplicated. Right. And and, and there's there's a lot behind that and that's how wire services work. Mm -hmm. But I think the problem is that in in the new media sphere where you have the internet, you don't have those those boundaries. I can I can read Le Soleil even though it's not distributed in Montreal; it's still distributed in Quebec City um, because it's online. And so this idea that you know we have this media and we'll just you know take wire service stuff because people will read it in our paper. Well, I can read. Canadian press stories from anywhere. I can read Reuters stories from anywhere. I can read Reuters stories on the Reuters website. Um, so the value of, of that kind of content greatly diminishes as a result, online at least. So I don't know if that's, that's the kind of strategy that you, you want to see. And I think some people are starting to realize that. Um, the two big chains, CanWest, Now Post Media, and Quebec Or, they both pulled out of Canadian press and they started their own national news agencies. And a lot of people have sort of criticized both. They're like, oh, this is, you know, this is Canadian press on the cheap. You're going to have, you know, just a couple of reporters and, and you're going to take copy from your newspapers and distribute it around. But, uh, and, and, and there are valid complaints uh, about QMI agency and post media news. But I prefer them spending a little bit more money um, hiring other journalists to do original stories and spending less on the press than it's just, you know, copying the same content. We have more journalists, we have more views mm -hmm. with this setup, and I, I think that's a good idea. Um, I'd certainly like to see more... I'd like to see more nerds uh, working for media. Um, People who can take data, for example, and turn it into stories. People who can improve how websites work. Uh, people who can improve social interaction online. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of news outlets. You know, for TV stations, they'll have a three-paragraph story and they'll throw up a video package that one of the reporters has produced. A radio station will, you know, have some cheaply produced YouTube video if it's a music station. Or uh, they'll have, uh, you know, just again, like a two paragraph thing and, and, and post a radio interview that they've done. And uh, a lot of print media, it's like they'll literally just copy and paste the story into, uh, into an article template and, and post it online. No, no formatting whatsoever. And that's, it's kind of sad to see that because you, there are ways to, even, even just simple things like adding hyperlinks. Even how long have these things existed? Fifteen years now. Well, they're I think actually. 
Well, I mean, these, oh. these, 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 these people have had websites, yeah. say, for 15 years now, mm -hmm. and they, they still haven't quite figured that out yet. You know, occasionally you'll see one article that someone has actually spent some time on. It has hyperlinks. It has, you know, graphics. It has, has all this stuff. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's just sort of this lazy, just get it up there, spend 20 seconds on it, and, uh, and that's it. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of news outlets are favoring, you know, they, they, they say they're, you know, savvy online, but they're not putting the resources into it. And you can tell, looking at their websites, that they favor their sort of traditional media, their radio, uh, TV, or print. How do you think the CBC and Radio Canada fit into all of this? Do you view them as true? Do you make it as there's no distinction between public and private, or that there is a distinction? I don't think people people really see much of a distinction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you go to you see the, the Radio Canada newscast, see the TVL newscast. They're sort of the same. They, they steal ideas from each other, even. Um, so there's from from a from a. a a viewer's perspective or a listener's perspective or a reader's perspective, there's not really much of a difference. Um, I know that the CBC and RADCAN sort of embraced uh, the internet earlier than the others. Um, on election night, for example, uh, the CBC very early on, they had their own website, they had live results streaming in, they had maps, they had all sorts of stuff well before anyone else uh, did that kind of stuff. And now others have sort of caught up a bit, but it was, it was a lot of work. So they sort of established themselves online as, uh, as, as sort of leading because they had people, you know, they had nerds, they had uh, tech people working for them and, and building these kinds of things. Now we're starting to see that in, in other places. Uh, Cyber Press, for example. Uh, Cyber Press? Yes. The, the webs. The webs. No, not, I, I'm just not understanding the word. Cyberpress.ca. Cyber oh, press. cyber press. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, okay. It's like you said, Jessica, and I always pronounce it Geska. Geska. <laughs> that's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting way of, uh, of of thinking about it. And yes, yeah, cyber press. I was like, what is it? cyber press? Yes. Thank you. Cyber press. <laughs> um, they had uh, a map of election results from two thousand eight by individual poll, and it was color coordinated. And it was. Uh, great way of, of presenting information um, and that was simply just by, by playing with some data and, 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 and it wasn't, uh, you know, they did some journalism based off of it but the big thing was not, was not journalistic in nature, it wasn't a story, it was, uh, you know, an interactive map. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping we'll see more of this kind of stuff uh, in the future, you know, just, just, uh, Having journalism done more by, or more journalism done by uh, people who, who understand technology and understand how to use technology to improve uh, the journalistic process. Thank you. Um, I fit just about any, everything I had here. Um, is there anything that I haven't asked that you'd like me to ask? Anything that you haven't said that you'd like to say? I don't know, what, what are our topics here? We have the future of newspapers, we have... <laughs> so you can see my notes, see if I missed anything. Let's, let's see here. When do you think it's going to die? Uh, do, 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 do. No more, so what's not on the paper? Well, I mean, what do you want to know that's not on the paper? Like, <laughs> what are my opinions on American Idol? Uh, you know, it's... No, the one, the, one, the one question that I missed there is, I think, in the middle there. So when you're not reading, writing, or watching the news, what else do you do? I watch TV. <laughs> A lot of TV watching. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I like watching dramas and stuff. I'm not, cra I'm not, I'm not the kind of TV watcher I used to be. You know, it used to be, you know, 8 to 11, you watch, you, you pick a, a channel and you watch shows. There's so many new shows that I've never seen. You know, I think 75, maybe 80% of the U.S., you know, network primetime block are shows that I've, I've not seen one episode of. 
Um, but I have my shows, you know, the ones that I like, that I, that I, that I pick and choose, that, that I watch and I record if I'm not there to watch. What are they? Uh, House. Mm -hmm. I have Tout le monde en parle. Now that I have a PBR, I can actually record it because I'm always working Sunday nights. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Mayday on Discovery Channel, one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Produced here. Okay. Local, uh, local baby. Um, what else is there? A couple of French shows. I'm trying to think of. Uh, you know, the, the Veronique Cloutier uh, shows there, Les Enfants de la Télé and Le no, Verdict. And I'll take your word for it because I haven't had a TV for 25 years. Good God, man. Uh, and, you know, I, and, and, I, and I watch, I mean, I watch quite a bit of news now, too. Um, I have my PBR recording Nova. Okay. I'm glad, it, it, it was one thing that I, I never watched before, or not, not really watched before, but then I, you know, I'm searching with the PBR and I'm like, oh, record that and, and I'm like oh, I, I love this so I have set, set to record it every week uh, and you know The Daily Show The Colbert Reporter and a few other comedy shows and stuff like that okay when they come back to is there anything um, that, that, that what's off the paper as opposed to what's on the paper I'll have to see what's on the paper no what's off okay. the paper um, and then if there isn't anything I can turn off the camera Yeah, I, I can't think of anything. It's, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not God, right? I that don't expect you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all of the answers. If I had all the answers for the future of media, I would be so incredibly rich right now. So, you know, I, I offer suggestions, things off the top of my head, things I'd like to see, but you know, a lot of the things I'd like to see probably aren't all that financially feasible at this point. Um, or the, you know they require the right person to do it, right? The right staff that, that may or may not be uh, available right now. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that if, if, if some people don't take my advice. No, it's as, um, as I said to me, the, this whole idea behind interviewing is interesting people doing interesting things. I would like to see fewer reporters reporting outside in the cold. Okay. On, on the TV networks. This is, this, is, this is one of my pet peeves is, uh, you know, you set up the satellite truck and you have a reporter standing in the cold in the dark in winter, you know, saying, this is something, I'm standing here, you can't see it behind me because it's dark, but something happened here 12 hours ago. The other thing is, and this is, this is specific to TV media, is um, this idea that live is better. And I've spoken to people who work in TV and they say, you know, our studies show that people like live. People think live uh, is more live. It's more I interesting. You know, it's it's captures their attention more. But it's lazy. It's very very lazy. Instead of spending a couple hours putting together a package report, you spend five minutes saying you know reading your notepad to, to the screen and saying what people told you. And the problem is, is that it's like. It seems counterintuitive too, because you tell people live, and it's like, oh well, you're putting the resources to get to get something live. But those are those are, you know, financial resources, technical resources, but not really human resources. And it's like it's wasting our time. You're wasting our time by not presenting a story in the most uh, well packaged way possible. You know, I want I want something tight, a tight two minute news report. You know, without the crappy B roll of some guy, you know, writing something in his office and walking down a hallway. Um, you know, a good story. It takes a while to produce, but the result is 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 very tight. And you know, the best stories are, are not done live. Enquête mm -hmm. is not done live, and there's a reason for that because it's stupid. Um, so I, I, I'd like I'd like to see less live reporting, less people talking about the news and people telling the news. Um, I mean, when you when you look at when you look at online, um, you, you you know you have popular YouTube videos where it's just a guy with a shaky hand pointing a video at at a, at, at something crazy that's going on. That, that that that's fine. But a lot of the good quality stuff online is the stuff that you take the time to put together. Mm -hmm. You know, people like shows like House, for example, because it's quality. It's it's 
it's not, you know, it's not something done on the cheap. And I, I would love for media producers to understand that 10 stories that take an hour to do mm -hmm. is not the equivalent of one story that takes 10 hours to do. Okay. That sounded very poignant right there. Very cool. I'm thinking of myself as a media producer, content producer, and say, okay, so what am I going to do to make my stuff? You know, you have, you have to do those. You have to do those things. Those, things, those little briefs um, where you call the cops and you write down what they say. Honestly, I think the cops should just, you know, instead of repeating all their stuff mm -hmm. to journalists, should just have their website and release stuff out to people there. And, and, and media wouldn't have to. I mean, they have Montreal Police, they have a phone message. You know, you call them up and you get a you get a recorded message saying this is what's happened in the past hour. And it's like, why not just make that available to the public? Um, I understand there's you know there's certain things that you know uh, that that you don't want the public to get, but you want sort of accessible to journalists. And journalists are obviously gonna, always going to ask questions and whatever. But I'd like to see more of various organizations just getting the information out to people directly so that the news, the news media doesn't, don't have to mm -hmm. so much. Um, but you got, I mean, you got to spend the effort to do stuff. And I, I've realized that for my blog, for example, is, you know, you, at, at the beginning, there's a lot of little things. There was a lot of like, here's a story on, on, on whatever they, they point to. But nowadays it's a lot more spending more time composing, you know, longer posts, more in-depth stuff. And, you know, I have my delicious feed and my Twitter feed that I can use for, you know, the simpler stuff. With the snarky comments and the sharing links and stuff. You're going to take your, I assume it's a, what about the, your camera phone video that you're using to post up the, the UFO lights and stuff like that. Are you going to go to real video? I do have a real video oh, camera. Okay. Um, that was just, you know, I was, I was biking down and there was this weird light show going on and, and you know, I took out the... the the camera to shoot that. Um, I actually, I mean, I have a video camera, sort of like that, not not HD because I don't really need an HD camera if I'm going to post videos online. Um, and I have, I have got an actual microphone. I, just, I, I need this, I need the stand though. I have the microphone, but I don't have the stand for it. Um, I haven't had a chance to really use it for you know doing stuff like this, interviews and, and whatever. Um, I hope to eventually, but uh, you know, yeah, you have to wait. You have to, you have to understand which medium to use. Mm -hmm. Video is not the best medium for, for some stuff and neither is, neither is writing, neither is, is, is radio. You have to choose the proper way to present certain stories and that's, that's a lot of what media has to, uh, has to learn. Whatever. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So any, any last words or should I shut this off? I got nothing. Okay.